All right, guys, we're going to cover three lessons. It's distributive property, and I'm almost positive you guys all already know how to do this, so hopefully it won't be too difficult. So in order of operations, we're taught to do parentheses first, and we're going to do that. You always need to look inside of your parentheses. So if we look inside of our parentheses, we can't do anything on this problem because there's no like terms. If there was, we would add our like terms. But because there's nothing we can do on the inside, we need to look outside, and there is a five right here. Now, between these two things, we have two things side by side, and there's no sign there. So two things side by side with no sign means multiply. So what we have to do is we have to multiply this five into both pieces. Now the number one mistake that people make is only doing it at the first one. You have to multiply it to everything inside of those parentheses. So we'll do this one at a time. Five times three X is 15 X. Five times negative two, keep that sign, is negative 10. This is where we have to stop on these problems because there's no like terms. So that's it. So on this one, look inside of my parentheses. I can't do anything inside of my parentheses, so I'm going to look outside. Outside, there is a 2x. 2x times 3x. 2 times 3 is 6. x times x is x squared. Then 2x times positive 4 is plus. 2 times 4 is 8. And then there's just the x. That's it. Pay attention because you can only add like terms. And while both of those terms have an x, one of them is x squared and one of them is simply x. Now let's look at this one. I look inside of my parentheses. Again, I have an x and an x, or I have an x squared and an x, but those don't match because their exponents don't match. So I can't do anything inside. So I'm going to look outside and I have a 2x outside. Now it does not matter how many terms you have inside of your parentheses. You have to do it to all of them. So 2x times x squared, 2 times understood 1 is 2. x times x squared is x cubed. Remember, you add your exponents when you're multiplying. Now 2x times 2x is positive 4x squared. Multiply your whole numbers, add your coefficients. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. And that's my answer because those are not like terms and I can't go any further, so I have to stop there. These do get a little bit longer as we keep going, and some of you have probably been at a, at a place that has taught you the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last, and that works when you only have two um, p terms in each parenthesis, but here's the thing. Sometimes you're going to have more than two here, or more, more than two here, and then FOIL doesn't work, so I normally don't teach FOIL because if you'll do it this way, it will work every single time. We're going to take our first term, distribute it to both pieces. Then we're going to take our second term and distribute it to both pieces. Instead of trying to remember a method, just remember to multiply every piece to every piece. So here's what we're going to do, and I'm going to do it one at a time so you can see it. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Now I draw arrows to my pieces so that I can make sure that I hit all of my pieces. Um, if I don't draw lines, I sometimes forget to, to distribute to everything. Now that first term has touched every term in that second set of parentheses, so now I'm going to do the same thing with 1. 1 times x is 1x. 1 times 2 is 2. So step 1, to distribute to both pieces at this point, though, I'm not done because I have like terms. If you get to a place where you have like terms, you need to add them. If you don't, stop. Now, I don't have any other x squared, so that x squared is going to stay. 2x plus 1x is 3x. And then this 2 is all by itself, so then it's just plus 2. And that is it. So let's do this again. For nothing I can simplify in either one of these pieces. So I'm going to take my first term, my 2x, multiply it to both pieces. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. 1 times x is 1x. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 
And see, when I draw my arrows, I can tell that that 2x has touched every term in the second parenthesis. I can tell that that 1 has touched every term in that parenthesis. And now I have to check and see if I have any like terms. And I do. I have an x and an x. There's nothing to combine with my 2x squared, so it stays. Negative, keep your sign, 6x plus 1x is negative 5x. The six minus, or negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. The term doesn't, doesn't change, remember, minus 3. Right. So you're going to take your first term, multiply it to all the pieces, second term, multiply it to all the pieces, and then simplify if possible. It's going to do, to, for you to do all of page 297 and 298, 297 is new stuff, 298 is a little bit of a review of some past stuff, and page 303. All right, so you have three pages to do, one full lesson and then a part of a lesson, and that's it.